Huntress is getting three base kit buffs in Dead by Daylight's 7.6.0 patch with base kit Babushka, base kit Infantry Belt, and base kit Shiny Pin times three. She's able to hold seven hatchets at base, wind up 10% faster, and move 14.9% faster while winding up a hatchet. And to be honest, I wasn't actually expecting Behavior to do something like this. I don't think any of us were. <laughs> I kind of suspect they saw the reception to the Billy Overdrive mechanic and were like, hey, maybe this is something the community kind of likes. Let's give Huntress the same treatment Billy did and see how the reception is to these mechanics. I decided to test these changes out first with Infantry Belt and Leather Loop to be able to hold a theoretical 10 hatchets at the same time. So we miss one. All right, we're down to seven. Six. All right, that's her. It feels like they may have changed. Did they changed the way the hatchet projectiles function. <laughs> okay, now we get to finally reload. Nice. You're not a bot. <laughs> nice try, though. Close rounds. Nice. Good try. You know what I feel like these, this change does? It makes it so that you just constantly just try to lob over and over and over and over and over again without ever reloading. I've been hooking that many people here, to be honest. He's gonna go around. Too high. I mean, it feels like we can miss as much as we want and just keep throwing. <laughs> like, infinitely. Like, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> we never really run out of hatchets. So, like, the reason why maybe making seven hatchets base kit is a little too much is that Huntresses don't need to reload. And when Huntresses don't need to reload, they could just do something like this. 
where they chase one person, they chase another person, they chase another person. They never really need to like disengage the chase to restock. They can just throw like throw one, two, three, four down a bunch, down one survivor, down another survivor, down another survivor, down another survivor, and then like they're all slugged, right? I believe having seven hatchets base is a little too much. I think it'd be much better to just experiment with six hatchets base and see if that's overpowered instead. But this whole kitchen sink thing where we go in with extra hatchets, faster wind up, faster movement, the double extra hatchets definitely needs to be tweaked. I want to see one thing on, on Huntress. Babushka, Oak Haft. In the past, it'd be wind up, throw, wind up, throw, wind up, throw. No exaggeration. That's, that's how Huntress used to be. I want to see how close we can get to that. Okay, so let's see how fast we throw. Wind up, throw. Wind up, throw. Still fast. It's not like the 45% faster wind up speed. But like, let's say I want to do an orbital. Let's say I want to throw two orbitals at the same exact time. One. It's about hits the survivor. Hits the survivor. There's still like a two to three second window for doing a double orbital play. So I don't think that would be as viable. This is still superior. Where you let one go wild. And then bum bum. The 10% base faster wind up speed might make it a little harder to dodge hatchets. I feel like it may be manageable for veterans. It may take a bit for casuals to get used to this. Generally, the changes seem okay, but it could be toned down a bit. I have a shiny pin now. Baseline, Huntress moves 13% faster while wound up, plus the 5% on the uh, shiny pin. So what's worrying is like, let's say that survivor is like kind of doing a mind game. At an unsafe pot like this, usually you can like run and juke her and not get hit. But if a huntress moves really fast, there's less space to mind game. So if a, if a survivor makes a mistake, I turn in this pallet. It's like, oh, she's aiming, she's aiming over here, she's aiming over here. I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go back, I'm gonna go back. When you have a, a huntress that moves fast, she, she's just bam here, right? The survivor, what they're going to be forced to do is something like this. Where they have to they have to be behind cover she moves really fast it makes it so that survivors around these safe pellets will like almost always get hit um that's the um the major issue with having the uh, the the baseline wind up i know i'm running shiny pin with this but if you make these safe loops so much less safer against Huntress that it may make survivors feel like more frustrated against her. At least at the at the higher level. For for casuals and and people who play this game for fun, uh maybe it won't impact them as much. But for the people that play in the, the higher MMR range, it will probably make playing against Huntress a little bit more frustrating. It's really good for Huntress mains who are learning and and um, play this game not as often. So what I'd say is like tone down the, the, the amount of hatchets she can hold just a little tiny bit from what you are in right now. The, the wind up speed is probably, can, is probably fine. You could tweak that a little bit, but the 10% faster wind up is probably okay. The moving 13% faster when holding a hatchet is probably a little too much. Now, that's just the overall gist of what I think with about the changes. I'm glad that behavior's at least experimenting with things. I think that's what matters at the end of the day.